Hello everybody, in this video we're going to try out Odd Breeder. This is an amazing kind of a sandbox environment to play around with a different image and combine uh, genes from other images. Uh, this works amazingly for portraits with other images and combine different parents and get really unique results and play around with the genes values to kind of mix and match and create really cool art. And you can also do this from other people's art and combine them with a new art. Uh, so let's take a look how it works. Uh, you can already see that the things that are actually uh, featured there are uh, mostly portraits, lots of portraits, and you're going to see soon why. And uh, well, this is pretty amazing. So uh, let's take a look. All right. So let's start by just edit, trying our own. So I can choose different things. You can see general portrait, landscape buildings. Uh, so if I choose, for example, uh, let's say anime portraits, uh, you see this one won't come with the built-in genes so it's actually because it's general so if i try to add things i won't get genes unless i add it manually but uh, if i try for example portrait i see you can see the genes here all right already added all right now i can try add a parent and let's choose uh, this one all right I can choose face and style and uh, the genes for the face and style. I can add another parent, right? And now we're gonna have uh, like children out of it. And uh, we can say that these genes are stronger than this one, the face. And for the style, this one will be stronger. So if I increase, for example, the style, you see the air is changing. If I increase this one and reduce this one, the air will become darker, right? Because it inherits the genes of this one for the style. Cool. Now here I can uh, control things, for example, like uh, some genes for the blonde hair. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. Oh no, oh my god, this is oh, oh my god, I didn't expect that, I didn't expect that, you need to be gentle a bit, <laughs> this was too much, alright, uh, blue eyes, you can go also negative by the way, alright cool, uh, there are other things, so let's go for example, I can go, uh, with expressions, so it's going to change the expression just a bit. Eyes are good, ah, happy, happier. All right, very happy. Here we go. Here we go. All right. <laughs> You're too happy. Uh, color race for example if you go let's go shouldn't take it too much let's say 14 right gender and we can change the age as well yeah. make it even younger Nice, huh? All right, so you can see you can mix and match things and uh, depends on what you choose, uh, the subject of the image, you can change the genes, right? Uh, you can, by the way, spawn single as well, if you like to, right? You can also add genes, right? So we can add genes, so art, and this is probably similar, you know, it's similar to uh, me journey when you add art to so actually have the genes of the art style and it is to your image in a way uh, so you can we can do this and you can see even other people's creation and inherit that from that one human herbal so let's go for this one what do you say this one and add these genes it's gonna appear here at the top we can make it more prominent. 
Yeah, this works really, really well with uh, portraits. Just be, it's just amazing. Add more. And of course, at any time, wow, stunning. That's where you see lots of portraits uh, there. But it's really fun playing with portraits. We can have, by the way, another one. So if we add this one, and you want this face to be more prominent, we can increase it and the style, so we get more of this hair, red hair. All right? And we can add more parents. All right? So cool. This is how we kind of uh, play around with breathing things. All right, so uh, if you look here, by the way, you can actually see different images and uh, that other people made. And it's all you can see all the parents that they were inherited from and all the childs. So if I took, uh, take this one, you can see the parents. If I go here, I can go up. You can see how everything is inherited and how people are actually creating their own images based on genes of other images. So I can go this and I can see the parents and the, grand, the grandmother and the grandfather. Just go up and up and up. Uh, just beautiful. So of course you don't need to like realistic uh, looking image, you can just use well, basically anything. You can combine it, of course, with other type of images, but it works great with uh, portraits uh, because the defined genes for the portraits are really, really cool because you can actually change the different uh, aspect of the face and, you know, it's really, really nice. All right. Now, there's also something really cool that I want to show you, and you can play with it with just uh, going to artreader.com. This demo, Create Generative Art with Collages. I want to show you this one. This is really cool as well. All right, so we're going to start out with something which is uh, already uh, made. You can see that there are uh, shapes uh, drawn and text. And basically, the drawn area will work together with what you write in the air we generate an image based on the input both inputs both the one that you drew and also the text which is something that i wish mid journey had because sometimes we want to position something in a certain place and i can't i need to write it and many times when you write things you don't really get exactly what you want i can't say like i want a spoon on the left side sometimes i get really well not what i want but it's really cool when you can actually kind of give hints to the ai uh with just drawing shapes or putting even images. So as you can see here, he just drew the spoon in the uh, and the ice cream where the shapes were located. Now I did try to do something. I tried to change the color of the spoon to something else and see if the AI will will just render it. But take a look, it didn't because it wasn't golden. So it actually it was a hint for the AI uh, to. The tank, the, detect the golden color and actually replace it uh, with a spoon. And actually, when I changed, it just didn't work. All right, next thing I try to uh, create something on my own so I can just delete the other shapes. You can create your own shape. shape. I'm going to show you soon uh, in a moment. And just to create, for example, an egg. So I change the color to yellow and I just change the text uh, you know, to match and see if you can actually generate an egg uh, with a spoon together uh, and see how it works. And of course you did. An egg. Cool, huh? And not every time I get what I want. For example, here I just put the shape of dinosaurs, but the shape is kind of awkward. And keep in mind that the AI would try to fill it up with an image, but you know, so the results were, uh, in this case, pretty bad, but of course you can continue refresh and changing the shapes, just, <laughs> you can see for yourself. Now here I'm using the drawing tool uh, to draw, uh, well, I tried to draw three houses, uh, but I think that the AI will be smart enough to see it. And just, uh, I tried to draw, uh, to draw trees and uh, yeah, kind of. And basically after that, you're gonna see that the AI really didn't understand that, but the houses were actually, were a good hint. So as you can see, when I render it, it's actually drew the houses pretty well there and just something like it looks like grass, I think. 
Now the cool thing is you can actually search and there are lots of images available and shaped already. You can just search for it and just place it. Uh, for example, I just place uh, images of houses and the AI of course will recognize it. Actually, this is a very good hint for the AI, uh, especially when there are also windows and stuff. You know, the more you give it more information, the more will better will be able to represent it in the render image. And I'll try to also create something with the moon, just something uh, you know it might. So just let me jump into the results. And again, just you need to make sure that you have a text as well. Again, these are just hints for the AI. Otherwise, you're gonna get something kind of very awkward. So I'm just writing and rendering. And uh, you can see we place the houses there. And uh, well, supposed to be a moon at night. Yeah, so two really cool uh, features uh, using machine learning. And I do recommend trying it out. It's just great discovering more and more uh, things and ideas and uh, applications that use machine learning where when it comes to image uh, manipulation. It's just the results are absolutely uh, mind blogging. And uh, yeah, I mean, here coming from Me Journey, by the way, which of course is my favorite one. Uh, but again, it doesn't feature some of the things that you see here. Like if I want, if Me Journey had something like genes and the ability to add locations, uh, location hints, for example, for things with the text, I mean, <laughs> Just imagine all that with the creativity and the high quality result of Midjourney when everything come together, how it will be. But again, now we see kind of a separate tools. Each one is kind of uh, trying to be like uh, the best in what they are doing. And that's why, you know, you see that it's working uh, well and you really have some really nice tools. But eventually, of course, we have some many of these things coming together for a very great degree of freedom uh, and creativity. Just great to see it. So again, I'm going to leave a link to this uh, to uh, this uh, website so you can try it yourself. And uh, that's it for this one. Uh, consider leaving a like maybe and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.